Maybe he's just thick, but not as thick as the BBC executive that signed off on saying, yeah, we can do that, that's fine, do it. Hi, it's me again, and one of my favourite subjects to talk about on this channel at the moment are the huge wastes of money the BBC does with your TV licence fees, and today we've got a cracking example of it. Let's take a look at this story. TV presenter who volunteered to be crash test dummy wins £1.6 million payout from the BBC. £1.6 million, that's a lot of licence fees, isn't it? It's a little more than one Gary Lineker, is what that is. A TV presenter who volunteered to be a crash test dummy has won a £1.6 million payout from the BBC after a judge ruled the stunt left him with brain damage. Jem Stansfield, 50, why do they always put the age in there, it annoys me that, agreed to be strapped into a car and catapulted into a fake lamppost to mimic the effects of an accident. So basically your licence fees have given over a million quid to an idiot, frankly. His head was shown jerking forward and back in the collision on BBC One's science show Bang Goes the Theory in 2014. The aeronautics engineer claimed the impact caused whiplash, brain damage, psychological scars and dizziness. Now, I'm no expert in crashes and crash testing, but if you get strapped into a cart, as it says here, and flung into a fake lamppost without any head protection, there's no whiplash protection like what racing drivers wear, nothing, you're going to get hurt. So did he do this just to be able to claim some combo? It's possible, isn't it? But what bothers me the most is what BBC producer, executive, whoever, signed off on this. Who signed off on this that that's a good idea to do? He sought £3.7 million compensation in London's High Court, saying the smash had robbed him of earnings like those of Top Gear stars such as Jeremy Clarkson. Delivering her ruling yesterday, Mrs Justice Yip awarded a reduced sum after BBC lawyers argued for a discount due to Mr Stansfield's contributory negligence. In a written judgment, she said, I must say I find it astonishing that anyone thought this exercise was a sensible idea. Blimey, a judge with some sense. Blimey. The effect of the injuries has been to derail the claimant's successful career in television. Mr Stansfield will receive over £1.6 million from the taxpayer-funded BBC. Now, those of us who have had a little car crash in the time, you know, sticking a bit of whiplash on there, it happens, doesn't it? I'm not saying I condone it, just saying it happens. But I don't understand why he would sign up to do this without any protection. I'll put the picture up again. He's wearing no protection at all. He's not even got gloves on. It's just jeans and a jumper by the looks of it. No head protection, no wrist protection, no ankle protection, nothing. And he signed up for that, which makes him a complete idiot. But who is the bigger idiot here? This is the debate. And let me know in the comments below who you think is the biggest idiot here. Is it him? Or is it the person from the BBC who signed off on doing this idea on the television show? Because I think it's the BBC executive. This guy might have just fancied a bit of compo. You know, or just to do something silly to elevate his fame a little bit or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just thick. But not as thick as the BBC executive that signed off on saying, yeah, we can do that, that's fine, do it. No problem at all. Ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. And because of two people's complete incompetence, the BBC has been cost £1.6 million in compensation, not to mention all the legal fees they would have had to pay, whether they had to hire them lawyers in special. I don't know, I might do a Freedom of Information request to find out, but I would imagine the BBC have their own in-house law team. Yeah. They must have a legal team in-house, so maybe that didn't cost them any extra. Who knows? The whole thing's just absolutely depressing, and it just shows how ridiculous the BBC are yet again, doesn't it? That's pretty much all I've got to say about this one. Do leave your comments below. I do read all your comments. So you go and do that, and I will see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching.